Hey guys, Adam Savage here at the National Air and Space Museum's Conservation Lab, oh, one of my favorite places. And you know I love my spacesuit replicas. Well, I just got these replica gloves from my glove maker, Linda Guariz, and I thought I'd bring them in and show them to conservator Lisa Young, because she doesn't get to touch these things for real with her hands. So I brought her some gloves that she could actually get her hands on and in. I can't wait to see what she thinks. I just brought these because I wanted you to see them. My glove maker in Italy, Linda Guaris, uh, I used to send her glove patterns or, or pictures of gloves I wanted her to make. And I'd often include suggestions for how she might solve some of the difficult problems. And she turned into be so good at problem solving, I don't even presume to tell her anymore. And I sent her pictures of some phase, phase four EMU glove interiors, which you're familiar with. And she brought, sent these back to me. And I'm just so ecstatic and happy about them. I wanted you to see them. Yeah, these are amazing because much like the suits we were looking at, these are things you don't normally see because this would be inside that big right. EMU glove that they use to do extravehicular activity outside ISS. And I just love these because it really tells the story about the personal astronaut. You have all these spacers. And these and are for size, adjusting finger length, right? Yep, finger length. You have the curve in the fabric because they they can't really flex their their hands. I mean, right. they're doing four to six hours of work in a glove, and it has to fit yeah. precisely. But um, what's this material here? Because this is what we refer to as uh, turtle skin. Turtle skin. I don't on the know. real gloves, and it's it's pretty accurate looking. It is. I was blown away that she found a fabric that so closely matched what I had in the photos. Um, she even commissioned somebody to make these little buckles correctly. Um, yeah, the palm restraints are, are really cool. And then they have this. Um, so this would have been like a fabric convolute. So you can you can size this accordion oh. piece right here to kind of fit your wrist. So these were also for adjusting to right. the astronaut size. And then mobility. Fascinating. And mobility, yep. And uh, there's this structure underneath every space glove we see today. Yeah, the shuttle, definitely the shuttle and ISS, but yes, this is what, so you're missing a bladder. Yes. So every space suit has, glove has three parts, the bladder, the restraint glove, and then the outer, outer glove. So depending on which program it was, it was either integrated together. Some of the earlier gloves have their bladder and restraint system adhered and sewn together. Yeah. But the later ones always had these three parts. Well, I was lucky that really fun. somebody is selling some of these, I think Ed Lou's flown glove interiors on eBay right now, and they're also selling the bladders. So I saw that the bladders are like, uh, uh, almost like a nitrile green. Yeah, they- um, It's a little brighter. I forgot what that is, that's a polyurethane. Yeah. They switch because the older ones in the beginning, like uh, we have Kathy Sullivan's gloves. It's mm -hmm. one of the only pair of shuttle gloves we have in the collection that were historically related to a person. Oh, wow. Um, because they do reuse so many yeah. so many things now. They're still made for astronauts, but they will reuse parts. Um, yeah, and hers had a different type of bladder that wasn't working, an orange. I think it was okay. orange earlier on or blue, but then they switched to the green. Well, I, I found some green neoprene kitchen right. gloves that when I put them inside this, they make that perfect kind of slightly green cast you can see on the, on the, the glove restraints. Yeah, I just thought you'd want to see. No, they close. are. They're really, they're really cool because I don't get to touch. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> touch our artifacts with my, with my fingers. And I, you said these were three D printed. Yeah, she three D so printed those are fun. all these little. And I know these are aluminum on the real things, but you, you can't tell yeah, even yeah. right up close to it. Exactly. Um, I showed you these when we were in a Zoom meeting, and you said that they get dirty really fast. And one of the things I love about them is in all the photos I've found, they're all really filthy. Like, yeah. they show their abuse. So this fits your hand perfectly. It does. Did well, that's you do a, a mold for her? No, but she, I've bought enough gloves from her over okay. the years and asked for slight changes that she really okay. understands the size of my hands now. Yeah, so now I guess I've got to go to some glove fitters and have see if they can actually size this to me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Lisa, thank or an you so astronaut. much. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get a picture of this, of you with these and send them to her. She'll be over the moon about it. A phrase, yes, pun intended. <laughs> I never get tired of visiting the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. I always find something new to lock onto and the tail on display of human ingenuity is always inspiring. 
If you'd like to get a better sense of what it's like to stand in front of a space shuttle or visit the Spacesuit Conservation Lab, we also filmed this in virtual reality as part of the Tested VR series. You can watch this right now, either through the Tested VR app or on MetaQuest TV. Links and instructions are in the description below. Thanks, you guys, for watching.